Hey guys, this is Sophie with another weekly update. Congratulations to Dine, the winner of last week's member replay analysis giveaway. He has posted a 2.5k MMR position 3 clockwork game and wants to get advice on the hero's power spikes and how he can improve on his mid and late game decision making. Our offlane expert, Assaulty Storm Spirit, has already analysed the game and has also focused heavily on the laning stage by talking about what the user can do better to get an edge in lane. We will upload this analysis this Friday. Of course, as usual, we are already open for submissions, so if you want to have a chance at one of our experts analysing your replays, be sure to submit your game before Friday. Now on to the guides. We have three new hero courses by three different experts coming up. Firstly, ZXYC will teach you how to play Night Stalker as a position for support and explain what you can do to win games by strong early roaming and transitioning into a powerful late game. He also included an advanced video on how to use Hunter in the Night and Darkness to their fullest. We also released two new carry courses this week. SMD has created a guide on position 1 clinks. Learn what it takes to win games with one of the highest physical damage dealing heroes in the game, as well as the advantages of picking a hero with decent laning and strong comeback potential. BSJ is also back with a new course on Venomancer as a carry. While being somewhat unconventional, it has become more and more common. BSJ explains the mechanics of the hero and what you need to do to transition from a strong laning phase to ending the game, along with which items you should buy and what skill build is best. Of course, we also want to continue to release replay analysis to make our hero courses more in-depth by teaching you decision-making first-hand as our experts comment on what's going on in their heads while playing the game. Have you been interested in becoming a pro player or otherwise taking your game to the next level by creating or joining a team? Brian Fluffley continues sharing his extensive knowledge from the several teams he has played in, including two teams he has attended an international with. You will not only learn when and why you should consider joining or creating a team, but also get some insight into the many great details of what it takes to become a strong leader, as well as how to communicate with a team. There's actually much more to becoming a pro than being a high skilled player. A lot of it comes down to communication and being able to work with people. So make sure not to miss this one. Well, that wraps up for this week guys. Thanks for watching again and we'll see you next week.